Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Camrui AK2 Plus Mini PC. Over the last few years, we've seen a pretty big increase in terms of performance with these little mini PCs. They went from being a relatively niche product to something that can actually rival your main home PC in terms of productivity. This one in particular tries to walk that fine line between performance and affordability. As a result, you're not going to get the kind of output that you would one of the more expensive mini PCs. But at this price point, it's a little hard to ignore. How well will it actually perform? Let's find out. Inside the box, you have the AK2 Plus itself. You have the power supply, an HDMI cable, and a mounting bracket in case you want to mount it on a wall or behind the display. On the side of the unit, we have two USB 3.0 ports and a standard USB port. Over on the back side, you have another USB port, two HDMI ports that output in 4K 60 frames per second. You have the Ethernet port, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that can be used for a microphone. You also have this little tab right here that when pushed to the side, the entire top of the unit opens up, revealing a slot where you can add another SSD. This thing can take up to a 2 terabyte. Under the hood, it's running an Elder Lake N100, running 4 cores with a burst frequency of up to 3.4 GHz. This being an alternative to their AK1 Plus model that sports an Elder Lake N95 processor. Which one is better it depends on what you plan on using it for. It comes with 16 GB of DDR4 RAM. This is single channel, which is a bit of a bummer, but still should be more than enough. It comes with a 512 M.2 hard drive with Intel UHD graphics, Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 4.2, and it's running Windows 11. In terms of benchmarks, it's not blowing anything out of the water, but should be more than enough for what I plan on using it for. Make no mistake about it, this is a pretty capable machine. Being used as a portable workstation, outputting in 4K 60 frames per second is a huge benefit, and it's Windows 11 ran silky smooth. In terms of gaming, you could get most older games to run using lower settings. Most games I had that came out during the 7th generation ran relatively smooth natively using low settings. You'll get solid performance using some less resource heavy games as well. But overall for its price point, I was pretty impressed with its gaming prowess. I was able to get some choppy PS2 emulation running but it's less than ideal. You can probably get better performance using some less resource heavy games but there are much better ways to emulate PlayStation 2. GameCube ran surprisingly better. There were still a few instances of slowdown but they were few and far between. It's pretty impressive that a mini PC at this price point is capable of emulating these games. Now where I feel this thing really shines is in terms of streaming. Whether you're streaming video content, Xbox Game Pass, Steam, or PS5 Remote Play, this thing handled everything like a beast. I spent a few hours using PS5 Remote Play, which of the three ways of streaming games is probably the most inconsistent. No matter what game I threw at it, there was very few graphical hiccups. Even playing games online, there was very little latency. I was very impressed. And when it comes to streaming video media, being able to output at 4K 60 frames per second you're gonna get a really clear picture quality. So the AK2 Plus Mini PC. I have to say I'm actually pretty impressed. You're getting a lot for under the $200 price point. The question is, who exactly is this made for? From the eyes of a gamer, I think this mini PC is best suited for someone who's looking for an awesome way to stream their games without breaking the bank. Maybe you're on the go a lot and wanna enjoy your Xbox Game Pass your Steam library, or PS5 Remote Play. This thing is an awesome low-cost option. Keeping my PS5 in the living room, using this thing to stream it to any other room in the house is a perfect solution for me. And viewing it from the lens of a non-gaming perspective, as a portable workstation, you're getting a lot of productivity for a very low cost. As a matter of fact, a large portion of this video was edited using this mini PC. If you're looking to run games natively, or for a solid emulation device, you're probably better off upping a little bit more cash and getting a more powerful machine. But if streaming is your thing, and you're looking for a solid budget machine that has a really good price to performance ratio, look no further than the AK2. If you guys are interested in the Camrui AK2 Plus, I'll put links in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.